Thanks for watching TCM this Sunday. I'm Alicia Malone, and we just screened The Little Princess from 1939, starring an 11 year old Shirley Temple at the height of her child actor stardom. Now we're skipping ahead 10 years in her career for the final feature film she made at 21 years old. From 1949, it's Almost a Bride, directed by Richard Wallace. The original title was A Kiss for Corliss, which is how you'll find it on IMDb and the TCM website. And this was a sequel to Temple's Kiss and Tell from 1945, where she played a precocious teen named Corliss Archer. This character was created by F. Hugh Herbert for a collection of short stories, with Kiss and Tell also becoming a successful Broadway play. Columbia Pictures had bought the rights and Temple starred in it on loan from David O. Selznick, who had signed Temple to a contract in 1944. Four years after Kiss and Tell, Temple was cast again as Corliss Archer for our film, which was released by United Artists. She stars alongside Virginia Wells, who again plays her best friend Mildred, and Tom Tully plays her father. Now, Tully played Virginia Wells' dad in the previous film, and many of the other characters were also recast, including Corliss's boyfriend Dexter, who was played by Jerome Cortland in the first film, and Daryl Hickman in this sequel. And interestingly, Hickman had also had a role in Kiss and Tell playing a different character. But the casting coup for this movie was David Niven who stars as a playboy going through his third divorce when he's brought into some family drama by the scheming Corliss. Niven reportedly wasn't too happy with this role, but he is as charming as ever. So from 1949, here is Almost a Bride. Almost a Bride is really cute, but in 1949 it was not a hit at the box office, and its failure pushed David Niven to break his contract with Samuel Goldwyn. He was tired of being an actor for hire and resented that Goldwyn loaned him out to other studios for 25 films, making only nine with Goldwyn himself. Even after he was free from that contract, Niven's career struggled throughout the late 1940s and early 50s until he finally had a hit with Around the World in 80 Days from 1956. And for Shirley Temple, Almost a Bride signalled the end of her feature movie career, which had started at the age of three. Now 21, Temple was a mother and was going through a public divorce from her husband, the actor John Agar. Following Almost a Bride, Temple retired from making movies, coming out of retirement only briefly nearly 10 years later for the television show Shirley Temple's Storybook. All right, keep watching because next on TCM we have a comedy that reteamed director Billy Wilder with Jack Lemmon and Shirley MacLaine a few years after their success with The Apartment.